Hello, I'm Sydney Neely, and it's time for the shortcut. Now, July is Sarcoma Awareness Month. Joining us to share more information about this form of cancer, some of the signs and symptoms, and the latest updates in the field is Dr. David Portnoy from West Cancer Center Research Institute. Hi, Dr. Portnoy. Hi, thanks for having me. Thank you for joining us. So YouTube and Minecraft video game legend Technoblade passed away from sarcoma earlier this month. I know many of our viewers have children who probably played Minecraft and may have heard them talk about him and his recent passing. He was fairly young, around 23 years old. What can you tell us about this disease and does it more so affect younger people? Yeah, so sarcomas are a, uh, a group of pretty rare cancers that come from bone, muscle, fat cells, blood vessels, and what we call connective tissue, which is the stuff that holds everything together. And overall, this is a, a really rare group of cancers, making up about 1% of all cancers in adults and about 15% of cancers in children. And it can occur anywhere in the body, but most commonly occur on the arms and legs. To make things more confusing, there are like over 70 different types of sarcomas, but we divide them into two large groups. So sarcomas that uh, tend to arise in the bone, such as osteosarcoma and Ewing sarcoma are more common in children and younger adults, um, but soft tissue sarcomas tend to be more common in adults. Mm -hmm. And because there's so many different types of sarcomas, they can show up in different ways, but usually they show up as a growing lump or mass on the arm or leg. And sarcoma is one of the more rare forms of cancer, but what can cause this disease and are there ways we can detect it early? Yeah, so un unfortunately, we don't know what causes most sarcomas. Some sometimes they will occur as part of a hereditary cancer syndrome. Other sarcomas can actually be due to infection. So Kaposi sarcoma, which is a sarcoma usually affecting the skin, is associated with a virus called HHV8, which is often seen in people with HIV. Some sarcomas are actually associated with prior exposure to radiation, which sometimes is used to treat other cancers. But for the most part, most sarcomas, we actually don't know why they occur. It's, it's kind of random just due to genetic mutation. Mm -hmm. It's great to hear about those new developments and techniques. Thank you so much, Dr. Portnoy, for joining us. For more information, you can visit westcancercenter.com or check out their social media at West Cancer Center Research Institute. That's all the time that we have for tonight's show. I'm Sydney Neely, and I'll catch you next time on The Shortcut.